Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today I am finally going to be tackling the mess of plants that is the top of my Millsbo wide cabinet here. I feel like I've been saying for so long now that I need to like organize everything that's on here because right now it's honestly just a cluttered mess and it does not bring me joy. It does not make me happy to look at the, these plants, which makes me sad because like obviously I love my plants and I love to like admire the way that they look but this has just gotten out of control. There's plants that I want to take off of there, plants that I want to move on to there instead, plants that I want to put in different pots um, and also plants that I want to restart completely and take cuttings of so we're going to be kind of doing a mix of everything today. I also am going to be taking everything completely off of there and wiping it down which is probably going to be a bit of a a bit of a series type of thing on my channel this spring because I'm going to be doing this to hopefully all of my planty shelves and areas. So I'll show you a little bit closer what's going on on here. It's honestly a hot mess. Um, like, my goodness, what is even going on? It's so overgrown. This is kind of the zone where I just put plants when I don't really know where to put them, but I don't want to just like put them somewhere where they're not going to get any light. This is a south facing window here, so um, it gets the best light, but the best natural light in my house. Um, so yeah, whenever I'm not sure where to put a plant, I just try to cram it on here. And now I have ended up with this situation. So our project today is just to kind of make this look nice and attend to the plants that I've just kind of sought, set and forget, set and forgot sought and forgot. <laughs> okay, 10 to the plants that I've just kind of left here. So I hope that sounds good to you. Maybe this will inspire some of you guys to kind of reorganize or redo or just like clean and declutter um, some of your planty areas. I know that it's going to feel so good after. So yeah, I'm really excited. The first thing that I'm going to do is just take everything off of that surface. I'm probably just going to put all the plants like on my floor here or something so I can just kind of look at them all and figure out who who needs to be chopped or who needs to be repotted. So yeah, I'm gonna start with that. looks so weird being empty like what the heck it kind of looks nice though I feel like it definitely makes the room a bit brighter it lets way more light in I don't realize like how much that affects the light coming into the rest of my house just having this blocked with plants but I don't care that's just the way it has to be there has to be the plants in front of there because I have to utilize this window also look at how spindly my monkey tail is ew i hate the way that it's growing oh my goodness i put so much work into like propagating this and restarting it um i should have put it under a grow light i don't know why i didn't Ugh, because this is what happens in winter i might have to chop this and restart again i might just have to restart like a small one man it is so hard to grow cactus here i'm sorry buddy you weren't getting enough light were you he's getting pretty big though like some of these arms it's kind of crazy He's giving like Medusa though, honestly. Should I just roll with his weird vibes or should I restart him? Let me know in the comments. Also look at my cute little baby. It's fun to actually see all these plants right now. Maybe I should take these off the windowsill as well and wipe that down. It's probably a good idea since um, I have access to it right now because a lot of the time it's blocked. Kaimuki leaves though. These are new. They're still hardening off. Really cool. Definitely the biggest ones I've gotten. And yeah, this is looking disgusting. So I'm going to be spraying and wiping everything down now.
Okay, now I'm looking at the windows and I'm like, this would probably be a really good time to spray them down and clean the glass. So I think I'm gonna do that as well. Look at how dirty this is. That's just from my blinds. I had no idea that they were that gross. Now I really wanna do the other two sets that are in my house, yikes. Okay, I'm gonna do the glass now. Is that... Oh my goodness. I'm using my Blue Land glass and mirror cleaner. I'm still loving all of these products. They sponsored a video. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, so I should still have a discount code with them if you are interested. <laughs> it doesn't even look like it was dirty. I don't even know if that made any difference, but I'm just gonna pretend it's making a difference. I guess the blinds were catching all the dirt. I, it looks like I need to wash them from the outside. Like, this one looks really dirty from the outside. Can I just spray it with my hose? Or like, how do you do that? Okay, let's get these back down. I feel so exposed. Okay, now I'm just going in with my multi-surface. Cleaner. It's always so satisfying cleaning this, like, it's so gross. It's full of dirt and water and, yeah. Okay, that is looking a lot better. It looks so weird with nothing in front of the window. Honestly, thank God for my plants. They're like a little privacy shield. Okay, now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these plants. I know I'm gonna be doing a couple kind of big things like taking this Amedrium medium off of the moss pole. Yes, we are going to be doing that finally. I'm gonna cut this up um, so that we can propagate it. So I know I for sure want to do that because I keep putting that off. Maybe I'll start with putting plants on top of there that I know I want to have on top of there, like just the way that they are. I think that I want to put my philodendron gloriosum on top of here. The only thing that I'm nervous about is the weight. Like I don't, this feels sturdy to me, honestly. Um, and maybe some of you guys can comment below if you have heavy items on top of your Millsville cabinet. I mean, I guess it's not going to be that heavy. Let me grab her. Oh my gosh, let go. Okay. <laughs> it's got the polytiflorum. Okay, I guess she's like, I mean, it's heavy, but I think it will be okay. I'm also gonna be propagating her soon. But the reason that I really wanna put her on here is because I love this plant so much. Like it's really become one of my favorites. It's so stunning, she's giving me big, beautiful, healthy leaves. Sorry, I know the lighting is awful. It's so backlit, but um, the reason I want to have her up here is just so I can see her and appreciate her because right now she lives on the freaking floor and she deserves better than that. Um, I think it'll look so good if I can have her on here. So let's see if I can make that happen. I am nervous though, like I am nervous. I think I would want to have her like close to one of the, like either one of the sides or the back where it might be like a little bit more supported. But 
she's so mm -hmm. no i think over here would be better oh my gosh she is massive she looks even bigger on there holy smokes i think that i like that do I like that? Okay, I think I'm happy with her up there for now. I mean, we can still do some rearranging once I put the rest of the plants up. Oh, I need to put the ones on the windowsill back. Shoot, okay, <laughs> I should do that first. But the only other place I can really think of for her would be, oh, my TV's flickering, sorry, would be where the philodendron McDowell is. And honestly, I might do that eventually once I decide to get rid of this McDowell, which is probably going to be sometime. I don't know, I keep hanging on to it just like hoping I'm going to fall in love with it more, but it's not happening so far. I definitely prefer the Gloriosum versus my McDowell. I'm- the only thing I'm really weary of right now is the weight thing, so if you guys think that's going to be an issue, like if my cabinet is going to come crashing into itself, um, please leave me a comment down below. I usually keep it pretty light. That's definitely the heaviest plant I would have ever put on there, but maybe it's just my like anxiety. I used to have her on my couch here like this, but I feel like she's just way too big for that now. Like it's just, I don't know. It's just like a giant plant like on the edge of my couch. It's a little bit strange. I mean, I could have her there, honestly. This is the new leaf, by the way, gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Wow. I love her so much. Look at this. Look what we've got going on here. My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put the plants back on the windowsill now. Okay, so this is what I'm working with so far. I put the plants back on the windowsill. I actually watered them as well because I figured it'd be a good time to do that. I left the spot on the end there empty for now because I have like multiple trailing plants that I just, oh my gosh, <coughs> my throat just got really dry. I probably inhaled soil at some point, but um, I have a bunch of trailing plants that kind of need homes and just sitting on top of here is not great for them unless they're like going down the side or something. So I think I might pop one of them in that spot, but we will see. I think I'm going to get started on doing some of the plant care that I need to do. Like I said, I want to take cuttings. I want to take that one off of the pole. So I'm going to get my potting mat out and everything and we'll get started on that portion. I'm going to put the Gloriosum back up there too, I think. I just set this here for a second, walked away. And it already came crashing down and the pole has like snapped where it's connected. Uh, so thank goodness we are dealing with this because I'm so over it just being so top heavy. I did just soak it in the shower um, so that the moss is wet just so that it's easier to remove. But yeah, this thing is just crazy. I'm going to try to get as much of it in frame as possible. It's sitting on a towel right now because it's like pretty wet and I have two potting mats down. You know, it's serious when we've got the double potting mat situation going. Okay, so I think that the first thing, I think I'm just gonna start at the top and we'll work our way down or should I just pull it out of the, no, I don't want anything to happen to this. I really like this top leaf. That's the newest leaf that came out. So I'm just gonna cut that right away so that I know that it's safe and it's not gonna like fall over and get crushed or something. Oh shoot, I only have my kitchen scissors and not my shears. Well, I'm just gonna have to work with what I have because this is gonna fall over again if I leave it. Okay, so, oh actually, I'm just gonna cut off the whole part that's like not attached to the pole. This whole vine is like not attached. Right here is the last node that actually attached. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right here. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. And I am going to be doing, I think single node cuttings here. Sorry, it's so hard to get like big plants all in frame when I'm trying to like work with them. Okay, now, that we don't have such a crazy vine on the top. I'm gonna lay it down. I put my two potting mats and I still, there's soil on the ground from when it fell down. I tried. Okay, so my plan was to just cut the moss pole open. I wonder if I can, I think I'm gonna cut it off here. A lot of people have warned me 
that the wire poles are really hard to make because it's so hard to cut the wire. Um, so thank you for everyone that is leaving comments. I do have a pretty good pair of wire cutters that I bought last year. Um, so that should help me when I try to make those. But yeah, I really appreciate like the advice and the heads up. Okay, so now this is much more manageable. Um, I think I'm just gonna pull it out of the pot. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut like the base of the plant off. We don't have to deal with that part. So now I'm just gonna cut the moss pole open so that we can pull the moss and everything out. This was really, really rooted onto here. It's too bad that this pole was just such crap. Because this was like one of my favorite plants, honestly. It grows way better for me than I was expecting it to. It's like a pleasant surprise. So I can't wait to propagate it and get it on like a nice moss pole. Okay, so gonna pull the moss out now I don't think that any of these roots are gonna be salvageable but I'm just kind of curious <laughs> to see what they look like in here and the reason I say I don't think they're gonna be salvageable is because I just stopped watering this moss pole because it was too like too unstable Oh my gosh, there's like, it seems like there's a lot of roots in here. They're like dead now, but they're very dense. Oh my goodness. I think I'm just gonna have to end up cutting all the roots off and just re-rooting all of these anyways. Yeah. That was like a cluster of roots and then I'll show you like what it looks like. They're all just dead, which is too bad, but that's what I expected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. Oh my gosh. Oh, vine is thick there. I'll have to cut the roots off better after. But yeah, that will be one of our cuttings. Here's another piece. Let's cut that one off. This is like a leaf that came out kind of small and weird. It was really getting blasted by the heater when it was emerging. So I think that that's why it didn't do very well. And the plant also was like drying out on me, which is my bad at that time. This, I think it does have, I think, I think that this could be wet stick candidate. Just gonna try to give you a better view of what I'm working on down here. So I'm basically just gonna cut the roots off because I'm gonna have to do that eventually anyways and then just cut the section that I want so that's gonna be a one leaf cutting right there that's where it was rooted it roots all along the vine um, a medium is really cool like look at this so many roots that are coming off of there it's just crazy. I'm always saying that I wish more people grew a medium medium. This is the only variety of a medium that I have, but I just like it so much. And I would like to see more people, you know, growing them in their homes. Not sure why it's not that popular. It had its moment for sure, like a few years ago. But I don't know if people just haven't had success with them or what. So this one has two leaves. It looks like it is two separate nodes though. Looks like there's multiple nodes on here actually. I'll probably just root that as one cutting. So this vine is like growing into here. I can probably, can I pull this whole thing off actually? I think I can. Yeah, the roots are dead so they're just kind of coming out of there. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean up here a little bit. I'm gonna pull the rest of the moss out of here and set that aside so that I can boil it and reuse it. I'm just gonna get organized a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, I've got my little area tidied up now. And here are all the medium cuttings. I don't know why, but it, when the plant was on the pole, it didn't look like it had this many leaves. Like, wow, I'm very impressed with how many cuttings I have. Um, I don't know how many there is, but there, there's several and I cut off all the roots and everything, so they're pretty much ready to be popped into water. I do also have um, a few wet sticks that I'm gonna see if I can find a spot for. Um, maybe I'll put them in a container in one of my cabinets or something and see if those take. Um, but I'm actually going to be using my cute little strawberry vessel um, to root these in. I got this off of Amazon. I can link it if anyone's interested. It's just a little vase, but I thought that it would make a really cute little propagation vessel, of course. So I'm going to put those guys in. Okay, look at that. Like how stinking cute. I'm so obsessed with this little strawberry. Poke myself in the eye, but wow, I love it. So I'm just gonna fill this up with some water, some Super Thrive water, and then um, I'm probably just gonna root them on top of my cabinet where the plant was living before because that's the best spot that I have where it's gonna be getting decent light. I've had my Adansonii cuttings rooting up on top of the cabinet as well. Where are they? I'll show you them, they're over here. I'm seeing some root growth already and these have not been up there for very long. Can you see there's a big juicy white root right there? And there's a couple smaller ones that are just like starting to emerge. So these are very happy, which is awesome. Put those there for now. Okay, I'm gonna go fill up my little strawberry and I'll be right back. All right, I've just popped that on there for now. And this is actually perfect because I can have all of the cuttings facing the light, but I can still see like the cute little strawberries. So yeah, really, really excited about this face. If you cannot tell. I also can't get over these cuttings like oh my gosh oh man I just love this plant so much it's so gorgeous look at this one it's so blue oh so pretty this is the newest leaf that I was showing you man between the texture and the color and the size that the leaves can get like yeah I love her so much I've also found this little kiwi container um, that I've turned into a little prop box for the wet sticks. So I'm probably gonna throw these... Where should I throw these? I might see if I have room inside one of my cabinets. I'll have to find somewhere for it, but yeah, it works so perfect. Okay, we are on potting mat number three. <laughs> um, I'm going to be chopping up a couple of the other plants that I have been wanting to chop up. Just quickly, these ones aren't gonna take long. Okay, so the first one that I'm gonna be taking cuttings from is Epipremnum Skeleton Key. I'm gonna have to put you up a little bit actually, there we go. So this plant, I've spoken about this recently, it's just grown so out of control, completely off of this moss pole, and I just wanna restart it. So I'm just going to take a few cuttings so that we can do exactly that. So there's this, oh wow, this vine is so beautiful. This is a new leaf that just came out. You can see it's still very shiny and there's another one already on the way. I'm going to cut that one for sure. We have that vine and then I'm gonna cut this one too because there's some cool looking leaves on it. Like I like that this one is getting the key shape. So I have that vine to work with as well. There's so many vines. This plant has branched out so much. Okay, I've got this vine. And then maybe I'll do one more. Okay, I had to cut this one because my favorite leaf is on this vine. So now I have four vines to work with. I'm just gonna end up cutting these into like one or two um, leaf cuttings and then probably propagating them in water. I might separate them into little pots and put them in my prop box. I'll see how much room I have in there. But I don't think I'm gonna do that on camera because I just know that this video is getting long by now. So I'm just gonna take those cuttings, set them off to the side. 
And then I'm gonna do the same with my Tenanthe. This is one that I really want to like restart and grow into a nice plant this year. It's one of my plants that I wanna focus on that I was talking about in my 10 plants that I wanna work on in 2023 video. So yeah, today I'm gonna be taking those cuttings so that I can get cracking on that. It's so, this plant is just bizarre. It like shot out this skinny vine and then it like turned into this big fanning branchy situation here. That's why it's so floppy because it's so heavy right here. Really weird. I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces and then take a look at what what's going on. Like I don't know where it's gonna root from. Is it gonna root from this part? I've only propagated cuttings of this once and they were already cut for me. They were just like gifted to me as cuttings. Oh, this, I think that that is where it roots from. I hope so, cause that's what I'm doing. This one, same thing. I think it's gonna root from that knobby part there. Just gonna take a few cuttings. Oh, see, this one is like double. So there's this part here, and then there's one again up here, like the little joints. So I'm just gonna cut that into two. Cause I'm pretty sure I just need the, like the little joint part to root. I love how I just like don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going with it. Two cuttings now. Okay, that should be good. Look at all of my Tenanthe cuttings now, oh my goodness. Wow, I'm just gonna water propagate these two. That's what I've done in the past and it worked really well. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done. My camera battery died at the end there, but I've got everything back on here and I'm so much happier with how this looks. I don't know if you guys can tell just like how much more clean and organized this looks than the before, but yeah, it is like miles better. And yeah, it's just so cute. I actually ended up repotting, not really repotting, I just kind of like took it out of the old pot and transferred it into there because it was in the Halloween pot. And I just, I was just over the Halloween. I think we can put that away for a little while. I just put it into plain terracotta and I think that it looks so good. I was going to put the Adansonii there where the Syndapsis is, but this tends to crisp up really easily when it's getting any like dry air from the heater. So I put the Syndapsis there instead. Hopefully it will be okay with the, the heater down there. I guess I'll find out, but it's not really trailing down. I kind of put the vine along and I also ended up putting my Manjula back here. So I think that it'll be pretty happy there. Get some good light and it's in a new pot, not a new pot. That was, um, it's just like a pot that I already had, but um, I'm using it for that one now. And I think that it looks so cute as a little decorative cover pot. I've got some, whoops, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is coming out of the water. Get back in there. So I've got some cuttings, as I was saying. We have my Tenanthe ones, and then the Skeleton Key ones right there. Um, this Hoya that is in moss that I need to pot up. My, uh, what is this called? String of Needles is just kind of going down the side there. Got my Ficus Audrey, my Strawberry full of Medrium cuttings, my beautiful Gloriosum. I ended up putting my Alocasia cupria right here. And then there's this little pocket that kind of gets some light because the Gloriosum um, isn't blocking like that section of the window. So I put my Calathea warshawixii there. You can't really see it, but it is giving a new leaf right now. There, look at that. So he's happy, which is great. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I'm feeling so much better about this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me. 
I'm actually going to be posting an updated plant tour soon, which is why I'm trying to, you know, get my craft together and like get things the way that I want them for the spring so that I can go ahead and film that and get that posted for you guys. I am going to clean up now. I have like potting mat, sphagnum moss, compost, everything going on at once in here. So I'll sign off. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on anything from this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. What monkey? You want to say bye? You want to say bye-bye? <laughs>